Robinson, tell us about your Zeda when he came to America and this concept of it's Shver, Shveret that many Jews would have to work on Shabbos because they would lose their job. But your grandfather, your Zeda, refused, he kept, he, he refused to, to give in to such a thing. Tell us about the idea that other Yidin gave in to its Shver Zanayid and, they, and how your grandfather approached Yiddishkeit that it's not Shver Zanayid. He said that. Tell us, you, grand, you my grandfather? My grandfather felt that all for the boss, if a person has the, the rutten, at the Benishlam in, in mind, and that comes before anything else, he'll be blessed with everything. He laughed when he said, people said, if they work on, you know, they're not going to manage if they don't work on Shabbos. He said, yo, Adarabba, you won't see broche and nachet and atzloche if you do work on Shabbos. The Benishlam, whatever he asks you, he watches over you and blesses you. The blessing comes from upstairs. It doesn't come from the money. Money, there are rich people who are very unhappy and they have so little. He says, you have to count your bless. You have to count your riches in the things that you can buy from 